we tend to learn inside the four corners of the classroom to mold ourselves, to become the best version of it, and to prepare for our journey in the outside world where problems are imminent, consistent, and inevitable. In view that the real world issues are complex and there is no single discipline could describe it and resolve this issue, therefore it is the duty of the teachers to educate learners with the use of interdisciplinary approach. When you speak about interdisciplinary approach, it adheres to the idea that two or more disciplines are mutually dependent with each other. What do I mean is that teaching one discipline would be more meaningful, would be more coherent, would be more substantial if it relate with other subject or bridge the boundaries between two or more learning areas. As a future science teachers, we should be more versatile, we should be more flexible, and we should show utmost mastery in every branch of science. When we become teachers in the future, we will not keep ourselves cementing to one branch of science. We will learn how to apply multiple perspectives to provide holistic knowledge to learners, teachers, or science teachers in particular should not find themselves in one particular discipline or a branch of it alone. Integration is important for your students to find the value of what you are talking about. It should be multifaceted. These are the three headings in teaching science using interdisciplinary approach. Biology works with chemistry. Chemistry works with physics. Physics works with astronomy. But all in all, they work with each other. You teach in biology that we are all living organisms. Furthermore, we are composed of atoms as a building blocks and different elements for the life processes. And you are talking about chemistry. We are surrounded with many inventions making life easier and more convenient. And that is physics. To preserve life on Earth, we explore other planets candidate for life where we could inhabit in the near future and that is astronomy. This is how different branches of science work, interconnected and relevant with each other to provide holistic knowledge. Let us move to the relationship of science with the other school subjects. Discoveries and inventions are part of science and it is written as literature. Practicing students to read and appreciate science literature could help them to understand science in the other way around. Integration of language and science could help students to describe their observations, discuss their findings, and convey their conclusions with clarity and avoid vagueness. It is important to note science do not use flowering words. It utilizes exact and appropriate ones. These are two different fields. Science is futuristic while history anchors on the past that we can find science in history and we can find history in science. These two are important to correlate with each other because geography cannot stand alone without science, especially using tools like barometer and thermometers. It is very important. Why? In the advent of technology, people's lives, people's behavior, people's perspective on life has or have been also altered. It is quite interesting to study the behavior of the people incorporating science as a game changer in the course of human civilization. Science can be more interesting to learn if it is taught with the use of music, songs, diagrams and drawings. It is hard for the students to learn without the diagrams or drawings of what you are talking about. Spatial and musically inclined students can be helped in this way. They say mathematics is a language of science. It helps to solve problems. How can you tell a child that car A is faster than car B? With the use of mathematics, we make things clear and we eliminate confusion. Mathematics is widely used in physics and chemistry. Drawing, charts, diagrams, and models play an important role in presenting science concepts, ideas, and theories. Allowing students to create craft by their own showing science ideas can cultivate their habit of manual work 
and knowledge can be easily applied. It is very vital to students to educate about science in relation to the country's economy. To keep the country more prosperous, citizens should be more scientific and it starts molding students with love and passion about science. Science plays a big role in shaping our life and its aspects. Hence, it is important to associate life with science. It is then the role of the teachers to let those raw knowledge or raw ideas or concepts relate to real life problems where students could draw themselves and grasp it easily. Moving forward, let's have the advantages of the interdisciplinary approach. So these are the advantages of interdisciplinary approach. To sum it up, interdisciplinary approach in science allows students to synthesize ideas from different disciplines, addresses individual differences, and help them develop, develop the important and transferable skills in life. Learnings are more authentic and of greater value to students when it reflects real-life situations. Do not compartmentalize one subject or one branch of the discipline alone. It should integrate and or relate to the other subject matters. And that is interdisciplinary approach. I am Joseph Orola Villanueva, reporter. Thank you for your listening and God bless.